Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. We're here to solve this palindrome Sudoku that was created by this uh, Thai author for the recent WPF Sudoku Grand Prix. Sorry about the typo. I have put an S here instead of the F. And it was one of the highest pointers and it was definitely a puzzle that required some time but it was also a very nice puzzle and Initially, I planned not to tackle this one because I know that palindrome can be really tricky, but I tried this and I sold it during the, the allotted time, and I'm glad I did. It was a, a very nice experience. So this uh, long line, which is probably a, a Thai letter, is a palindrome, which means that this digit is the same as this, this digit is the same as this, and so on. And actually, I'm tempted to use some coloring here. I didn't do that during the contest because uh, I saw it like uh, something like paper, which is actually an iPad. So uh, I put some coloring to see more quickly which cells must contain identical digits. So I'm using the colors of Penta in order. So this is the same as that. And uh, it may have been a good idea to do this in advance, uh, to be honest. So now I'm using those colors. I'm forced to repeat them. And then those two are the same as well, which is interesting because this digit is the same as this, so it must appear somewhere in here. So those digits here are either 1 or 3 or what goes there, which is this digit. Well, so let's start. And what I'm seeing right from the beginning is that we have repeating digits here. And just by the logic of Sudoku, we get a 4 here, which goes there by... The, the palindrome logic. And I'm tempted to just remove the coloring from those cells. But uh, let's move on. Now, the interesting part of this is that we get a 4 somewhere here. And this is the same as that, so it could very well be a 4. And I could ask I could note that 4 is somewhere here. Oh, and this is something I didn't notice during the contest, I think, which is that, well, just by the rules of Sudoku, we know that 4 must go somewhere here, and by the palindrome, this cell here is one of those. And we see that those two can't contain the 4, so this has to be the 4. This is really nice logic indeed. And then with this 4, this 4, this 4, and this 4, I can place a 4 here. So uh, I, I went on the full, uh, full cancel marks when I solved it, as, as I usually do. I'm seeing oh, this choice of color is not a good one. So let's just remove this coloring and use it here so as not to get confused with those cells. So let's... Well, I, I will have to use some, some notion uh, of uh, candidates at some points anyway. But something interesting here is that because of this one, none of those digits are ones. And those are the digits here. No, sorry. Well, those digits can't be 1 because of this one. And those digits here can't be 1 because of this one, I think. Yes. This digit sees all of those until the, the um, proper one. And this is seen by this one. So we don't have 1s anywhere in here. I don't have a one here or a one there. So there are ones somewhere here 
there is a one somewhere here on the column and when I'm seeing this I'm thinking this is definitely not very useful I need one two three and nine somewhere here so let's move on to candidates I think and candidates on the on those on the palindrome so this is not one of those digits this is not one of those so this is five or six this here is none of those so it has to be from three five and six i think that's correct this now has a lot of restrictions it can't be one two three four six eight so it has to be from five seven and nine this digit here also has a lot of restrictions and it, but it can still be three five seven or nine and no it can't be a three because of this three here This here can be anything from one, two, three, four, six, and seven. So it must be uh, oh four. No, one, two, three, four, six, seven. It can still be five, eight, and nine. Is that correct? Is that correct? Actually, I'm saying that on this row, this and this column that can't be an eight. So this is actually an eight. And this can't be a six, it's one of those digits. Well, it can't be a six, it can't be a nine, so it will have to be from five, three, five, and seven. It's the same as this, three, five, and seven, I think that's correct. Now, this must be the same as that. It can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So this is from seven and nine. And that's an interesting point. We get a five, seven, nine triple here. So that's, that here is not a nine. And this is from two and three. But this triple, so this digit, let's recall that this digit is the same as this. So in this triple, we know that the 5 is in one of two positions here. So one of those two is a 5. So one of those two is a 5. And it removes 5 from all other cells in the column. Which gives here the 6, here the 3, and here the 7. And now we get this 7 here by the palindrome. That's not a 7 anymore. We get the 6 on the palindrome and the 3. And this is not a 3 anymore. And those are from 1, 2, and 5. And this 5 or 9 is mirrored in this digit. And actually this 7 removes the option. This 3 here goes there. And this is 5 or 9. And actually this is the same as this yellow digit. Which is interesting because this yellow digit must appear somewhere in here. If it's here, then it has to be a 9 because of this. If it's here, then it has to appear here, which is totally possible. Now, this 5-9 pair here removes the 5 from here and puts the 5 in there. And that's interesting because with those 5s, I know there's a 5 somewhere here, but 5 is not in the red cell, so 5 is here after all. And this red cell here contains a 9 and this yellow cell contains a 5 and this is a 5. I'm doing something much more elegant than what I, than what I did during the contest I must say. Um, so let's just be cautious. This is not the same as this or not by the palindrome anyway. Actually it's the same just by Sudoku. Right, here we need 5, 8, and 9. This is not 8. Oops, this is not 8. This is not 5. 
So let's look at this. This digit is one of those, so it's from 1, 3, and 7. And because there's a 7 and a 3 here, this is a 1. So much more elegant than what I did. I'm really impressed. Um, this row needs a 7. There's a 7 here. So that's the 7, and we complete the column with a 6. Here we need a 9 somewhere. There's a 9 here. And that's a 2 and a 6. So 2 and 6. This is a 5. This is this 9, this 8, and this 5. 7s here. Put the 7 there. And those need a 3. There's a 3 in this column. So that's the 3. That's the 9. This column still needs a 2, because of this 2, the 2 goes up there. And this digit on the palindrome is just an 8. Here, that's a 9. That's a 2, that's a 7. Here I need a 3 and an 8. So that's 3, that's 8. Here, 3, 1, 2. Here, that's a 9. Here I need a 1, but there's a 1 here. 1 and 6. 9 and 7, so 9 and 7. Here I need a 2 and a 6. There's a 6 here. That here has to be a 3. And then the 1 and the 2. So I've solved it here much, much faster than you in the contest, but obviously the colors have helped. I didn't have the colors, so uh, I, I just went full pencil mark full pencil marks, as I mentioned earlier, and I had much more trouble seeing elimination, so my, my solve was much more of a struggle than what I just did, and what I just did is probably much closer to the intended solve. And I must say, it was really, really well constructed. So, very nice puzzle, and the 71 points was certainly well adjusted to the difficulty, I think. Thanks for watching this video, and see you soon on Sudo Canard.